In the world of luxury watches and fine watch making, a lot that goes on the dial is nowhere close to the details, workmanship and finest examples of engineering that we see on the case back. Then this is not just about engineering and excellence, it's about the art and the experience when you look at the movement and take all the pleasure in how the mechanical watch displays the time, hidden behind the case with all those intricate details. The catch is though, that you have to remove the watch to enjoy all the workmanship on the case back. And if you're wearing it on the wrist, you're tossing between whether to enjoy the dial and the watch face or remove it and see the hidden treasure on the case back. A dilemma indeed, but come to think of it, it's a good problem to have. With MBNF Legacy Machine on the wrist, however, you have that problem pretty much sorted. That is, you have the essence of mechanical watchmaking, the flying balance displayed on the dial side, showcasing the wonders of high horology and the experience which you can almost appreciate immediately why these watches are so special, spectacular and unique in their own right. In fact, the legacy machine were made by the brand with exactly this idea in mind, that if the case back and the display of mechanical operation is so beautiful, why not showcase it on the dial side to enjoy the wonders and marvels of mechanical watchmaking. And there you have it, an incredibly beautiful and unique dial in a spectacular finish in icy blue, and then three sub dials to show the time, the power reserve and the date. But on top of that, in fact, in the center of the dial is the massive flying balance, showcasing not just the beautiful display of timekeeping, but also exhibiting a sight that is a beauty to behold and an experience to cherish. This particular reference is called Legacy Machine Split Escapement, which basically means that while you have the flying balance on the dial side, it is split from the escapement that still houses in the case back. And it's not just the escapement that is there to enjoy, rather you can look at the entirety of the watch movement and you can almost immediately appreciate that it is no ordinary watch. It is a work of art, a timeless example of finest display of timekeeping. The Legacy Machine Split Escapement is a sportier version of Legacy Machines, but this is not to say that it is a sports watch as such. So while it has a higher water resistance and a better shock absorption system, it is a more rugged watch than the other versions like LM101 at the very best. At the end of the day, these are delicate watches and you would want to look after them as much. Not to say that one will buy a watch this fine, only to use them harshly. This is also the only legacy machine with integrated strap options. That is, if you notice, there's no gap between the strap and the watch case, making the fit of the watch quite more refined and up spec than the standard straight end or curved end straps you see in the other versions of legacy machines. On the wrist, the watch wears very beautifully and while it is a bigger watch at 44 mils, I have a smaller ish wrist at only 6.5 inches in size and as you can see, I can comfortably pull it off. In fact, personally, I prefer this size to the 40 mm variations like LM101, but this is because I like bigger watches with better wrist presence. The crystal here is domed in shape and while it may suggest that it is very delicate, the crystal is in fact pretty strong so it's not like you can shatter it against the slightest of the rubs. This is purely based on my personal experience and obviously there's no way to quantify the shatterproofness of the crystal. But then again, do we stop buying cars or let's say luxury cars because we are worried that the windscreen will crack if a rock came flying off the road?